Another great Crosstown rivalry is in the books. And last time in Mattoon, the game was close, but this time the crowd gave Charleston the extra boost they needed to get the convincing win. I'm here in Mattoon with the Lady Lakers softball team hopes home field advantage can get them back on track and ready for the postseason. I'm here at Lance Arena in the second round of the CollegeInsider.com tournament where the Panthers are down by 10 to the Purple Aces. But the big story in this one is senior guard Reggie Smith who went down with a leg injury early in the first half. Chicago Cubs handed the ball over to Kyle Hendricks today for his first career start and the chance to win the series against the Pittsburgh Pirates. The Cubs look good early as Addison Russell hits a deep shot to right field, sending in Starling Castro, putting Chicago up 3-1. But in the sixth inning, the Pirates started getting a rhythm as Gregory Polanco doubles off Kyle Hendricks to score Josh Harrison, cutting the lead to two, and they would later go on to tie the game up in the inning. Then in the seventh, Polanco finishes the job as he singles to left field, sending in Harrison again for the score. The Pirates will go on to win, eventually go on to win 5-4. Next up for Chicago is a three-game series against the Cincinnati Reds starting Friday. The struggle continues all the way up to the pros as the Chicago Bulls lost three of their last four games going into Monday night's game against the Cleveland Cavaliers. But LeBron James showed no mercy on Chicago. Kyrie Irving starts it off with a drive to the basket, banking a layup off the glass, putting the Cavs up 24-17. Nearing the end of the second, Cleveland on the fast break. J.R. Smith passes to LeBron James for the layup and the foul. The final member of the Cavs Big 3 would make the highlights as LeBron passes to Kevin Love for the spot-up three, putting his team up by 18. That would be all she wrote as Cleveland cruises to a 108-94 victory. Next up for the Bulls is the San Antonio Spurs Thursday night at 7. The Chicago Blackhawks were at the United Center Monday night, but fell just inches short. Let's take you to the highlights. Scoreless in the second, but Chicago would change that as Jonathan Taze flips a nasty backhand pass to Marion Hossa for the goal. But the lead wouldn't last long as Nicholas Jomerson turns the puck over to Oliver ekman Larson, who takes advantage with a slap shot past Corey Crawford. But Chicago would answer back with another taste to host a combination for the goal to send it to overtime. The Hawks almost sealed it in overtime with a shot by Andrew Shaw. But we'll look at this one again, and as you can see on the replay, the puck just doesn't quite make it into the goal. The Coyotes would win in the shootout 3-2, and next up for Chicago is the Vancouver Canucks tomorrow night at 7. You know, we all have trials in our life, and I think it's more how we attack those trials and what we learn from them as opposed to, you know, the actual trial that we have. His hardship started shortly after being named offensive coordinator of the Eastern Illinois football team last June, when he was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's large B-cell lymphoma, a rare form of cancer. But despite the diagnosis, Stevens knew the disease wasn't going to stop him. Well, I didn't really think about you know, uh, cancer not allowing me or not being able to go to work and I just kind of worked through it and I, I really think it helped me because I was able to have, you know, some normalcy in my life. Being strong through his fight with cancer got him recognized as a 2015 Uplifting Athletes Rare Disease Champion finalist. When hearing about it, Stevens was happy to be nominated, but said it wasn't an award you dream about getting as a kid. You know, it's it's a nice honor and stuff. It's not really an award. I've told people this. It's not really an award you want to be nominated for, you know, but uh, much I know that a lot of people were voting and I appreciate all that, you know, the um, Eastern Illinois fans and people around here and stuff. When the final votes were in, Stevens was close, but ended up being the runner up. Even though he didn't win, he thanks all the supporters throughout his tough journey. But I've just been real blessed as far as, you know, the people that have helped me and then, you know, being able to, you know, do my chemo while I was still able to work and Coach Dameron and the people here at Eastern have been real, real good to work for too. And for those who have cheered Coach Stevens on, he has some great news. You know, I'm just excited to be um, right now cancer free and starting to get my health back and my energy back and all that. In Charleston, I'm Nate Kissel for WEIU Sports Watch. I'm here in Mattoon with the Lady Lakers softball team hopes home field advantage can get them back on track and ready for the postseason. It's just kind of like it's your turf, you know, you don't let come, somebody else come in and stomp on your grounds. You gotta 
I mean, it's where we are, it's where we practice, and it's we're not going to lose here. They are doing that by staying focused and putting their loss against Wabash Valley behind them and bringing it. To stay intense and not let, let yesterday affect us. Um, forget about the past and play forward. But winning streaks aren't the ultimate goal for this team as the season nears its end. Uh, the goal for the team is to finish the six games as well as we possibly can, um, possibly air free and focus on winning the regional tournament. Well, our message is always the same. We have one goal and that's the regional tournament and we just stay focused with that goal all the way through. But the team and coach hopes for more than that this season. The goal would be ultimately to win a ring, but uh, play to perfection is I think what we're looking for. This year was the first year Coach has talked about winning the national tournament. Um, his goal every year before this year has been just to get to the regional, t or just to win regionals to get to nationals, and we've been doing that, but he hasn't, he hasn't become ultimately successful at the national tournament, so this year our goal is to win everything. In Mattoon, I'm Nate Kissel for WEIU Sports Watch.